George Tooker is somebody who has been extraordinarily well respected by his peers throughout his entire career. He's truly an artist artist. He's an incredibly methodical and very slow working artist and a very thoughtful artist and one in which ideas I think ferment over time. He's committed to the figure. He's committed to a figurative tradition. And he's one of the premier artists of that in terms of both technical virtuosity, which is astounding, working in egg yolk tempera, but also in a meditative and continued and coherent interest in how the figure can be expressive. He's essentially a painter who's concerned with the relationships of, of individuals to, to one another. How do we fit into our society and how do we affect it to make it better or to make it more hellish? My mother was born in Brooklyn. But my mother was devoted to her father and she used to visit her grandmother in Cuba. When my mother had babies, they, I, they moved to Long Island. I think because they thought it was better to raise their children in the country. And Long Island was the country at that time. And they were both very good parents and they were very loving parents to my sister and me. My family said, if you go to college, we'll let you go to the Art Students League afterwards. I started with Reginald Marsh, and he painted Neg Tempera, mm -hmm. but in a very different way than I paint. And he starts painting tempera sketch sketches on the subway, and, and they're very quickly done, you know, sort of uh, character studies and loose brushwork. When I studied with Marsh, I tried to imitate him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it imitate his way of painting, and I didn't do it very well. <laughs> and it was just gradually that I found my own way of, of painting. It's really when he, when he meets up with Cadmus, and, and Cadmus sort of slows him down. His brushwork becomes much more uh, meditative and repetitive and considered. Paul was a very good friend, and he was very, very helpful to me in painting. Mm -hmm. He was a sort of a caring, nurturing friend. There was a kind of gay community out of which uh, Tooker came, out of that community, and he was supported and sustained by that community. So the pajama photographs, which were made by Paul Cadmus and uh, Jared French and Margaret French, I, th I think those are very interesting photographs because they really create a sense of community. And it's a very sort of specialized place. You know, it's a kind of ideal world. And at the same time, it's a safe community in which everybody can sort of fantasize. And I think Tooker is interesting all his life. He's not someone who you could say, um, hid his homosexuality. For much of his life, he lived quite openly as a, in a partnership and a gay, as a gay couple, yet at the same time, very, very mild, very not wanting to sort of, you know, uh, make a big deal out of his uh, particular uh, sexual identity. Children in Spastics, in a sense, is uh, an early example of Tooker trying out a whole range of different subjects. On the surface, it shows three young men being menaced by uh, boys. And, and uh, while there's no actual violence happening, there's a suggestion that the situation could break down into um, violence at any moment. And it looks like just a scene of bullying on the surface. But on the other hand, the way that it's put together uh, is in emulation of late medieval and early Renaissance painting. It's the general sense that Tooker is looking really hard at martyrdom images and also images of the mocking of Christ and using that em empathetically to comment on a contemporary situation which is the marginalization of one particular group of people by others. It's one of the few paintings in which he very explicitly seems to be representing homosexuals. The three figures, the so-called spastics, are hyper-stereotype images of effeminacy. But there's this underlying, very closely felt empathy and, and sympathy, and that could be certainly tied to Tooker's politics. Later on, 
It's articulated in the so-called social protest in public protest pictures.